The countdown is on now to the Republican debate just one day away right here on ABC and the candidates are teaming up to take on each other. The latest polls showing Trump in the lead in New Hampshire, but Marco Rubio gaining momentum. ABC's John Carl is in Manchester with the latest on all of that. Good morning, John. Good morning, Amy. After his second place finish in Iowa, Donald Trump is taking nothing for granted here in New Hampshire, where he has a commanding lead and is fighting hard to keep it. This is really crunch time. With five events across New Hampshire, it was Trump's busiest day yet in the Granite State. My colleague Tom Yamas caught up with him in Portsmouth. I'm only worried about one thing, and that's New Hampshire. We've got to win New Hampshire. The GOP race here has turned into a game of survivor. The candidates forming alliances as they fight to the finish. Trump is teaming up with Ben Carson to slam Ted Cruz over his campaign's misleading claim that Carson was, quote, likely to drop out after Iowa. ABC News has obtained voicemails left by the Cruz campaign on the night of the Iowa caucus. Please inform any Carson caucus goers of this news and urge them to caucus for Ted instead. Cruz has apologized to Carson but denies any wrongdoing. When you win in the state of Iowa, your opponents want to tear you down. But the latest polls in New Hampshire show Rubio rising. Oh, I'm so excited. ABC News got an exclusive behind the scenes look with Rubio on the campaign trail where his crowds are growing by the day. I wish you the best. Thank you, I'll be back. So that's just the overflow crowd. Yeah, it's just the overflow. Because they couldn't fit them all in. They couldn't get them all in. <laughs> all right. We go. gotta get bigger rooms in. On his campaign bus, Rubio defended his record. What about all these governors we have running? Far more executive experience. And they look at you and they say, this guy's a freshman senator. Well, they don't have more foreign policy experience and national security experience, and that's the most important job of a president. Do you think Donald Trump is ready to be president? I don't think being president is the same as being a real estate developer. And on national security, he hasn't shown to date a deep level of, of depth on those issues. T today, for the most part, the candidates are prepping for tomorrow night's debate, which will happen right here, Amy. And for the mo for you know, realistically, will be the highest stakes debate yet, coming right before the New Hampshire primary. Oh yes, John Carl, we cannot wait. I know someone else who is counting the days. ABC's Martha Raditz is moderating tomorrow's de big debate along with World News Tonight anchor David Muir. And Martha, you just heard from John. The excitement is building with just hours to go. The excitement is building indeed. It's great to be back here at St. Anselm College. This is where we were with the Democrats in December and tomorrow night we'll have all those Republicans on stage, everybody looking for momentum. And there is one thing that I can absolutely guarantee, Amy, there will be heated exchanges. Everybody, everybody wants to survive this debate and move forward, but it may be the last chance for some. Amy? All right, Martha, and that Republican debate again is tomorrow moderated by Martha Raditz and World News Tonight anchor David Muir. It starts at 8 p.m. 7 Central right here on ABC.